Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to do a quick review here of Android 6.0 Marshmallow on the Galaxy S6 based upon uh, the latest TouchWiz. So uh, you can see uh, this is coming with uh, some nice uh, changes to the OS here, uh, which uh, we can have a look at. Uh, I think generally the uh, main thing that I'm interested in is in terms of the multitasking to see if you know that has been improved. Uh, so I'm definitely going to look into that uh, and see if that is the case. But first things first, you can see we do have some changes here. Maybe we can compare actually uh, with the uh, Galaxy S6 Edge running. Uh, the previous lollipop uh, so you can see we have like white uh, kind of theme here at the top uh, I'm not really sure about it at the moment you know I think it looks good with the white kind of phone but uh, it's quite a radical departure if you ask me from the previous uh, way it was uh, they have moved as well the settings button you can see that was on the right and uh, I think you have a drop down now so you can quickly get access to things as opposed to having to scroll uh, using that method. Uh, they also obviously have changed the uh, apps button here so it's a little bit more kind of fluffy. In fact the whole kind of uh, TouchWiz looks more fluffy here uh, so you can see going back in, in, into stuff uh, looks uh, like a little bit more kind of optimized and cloudy <laughs> if I can uh, just use that as a description uh, you can see as well in the settings here uh, there's uh, been I think slightly bigger icons uh, you can see coming on the device now uh, so in the actual uh, software we can have a look here so in the software version uh, you can see this is based upon uh, I think uh, Terminator uh, ROM which is basically like uh, based upon the what you'll get on the official uh, TouchWiz which should be coming very shortly uh, but I was just like getting bored waiting for the official update so I wanted to get this on and I have to say you know it looks uh, pretty uh, stable here you know you do have to go through some things to get it on the device and I do like some of the improvements here to the animations when opening up stuff uh, we can have a look at some of the inbuilt apps such as the music app so to me it looks like they have made some uh, improvements here already like uh, you get the place speed and uh, this auto music off uh, so let's just try and play something here so you can see we do get the equalizer settings still and adapt sound uh, UHQ upscaler that sounds pretty pretty awesome so I think you have to have some headphones in maybe or Bluetooth headset uh, but we can definitely see there's been some work there to improve the actual app it looks a lot nicer uh, again we can just quickly look at the the S6 Edge here like when you're playing something so little changes you know uh, we do like that uh, there's also been some I think changes when it comes to uh, the camera as well so we can just open this up uh, so you can see we still get obviously the options to do uh, your 4k ultra HD which is nice as well as you added some uh, like tips here of what won't be available if you do go for the maximum uh, save as raw file uh, so that's nice and some uh, other modes obviously the pro modes etc uh, which you get on some other Samsung devices uh, so quite similar here I think for the camera UI not uh, a massive difference maybe uh, I think it does work uh, you know as expected here so let's just see So you can see very nice fast SAMI performance. 
Uh, so we can just, or in fact, have they made any changes to the uh, the editing kind of ability? So you get the marshmallow pop-ups for permissions, obviously, and you can see. I think you can uh, do some stuff here, uh, which you probably could have done on lollipop, but. Uh, so, as I said, you do get uh, the marshmallow optimizations, better battery life now uh, with your Android Doze, I'm guessing. So, if we just go into the battery and optimization, and if we edit, uh, so I think. Uh, it uh, seems to automatically optimize like apps which have been opened so that's pretty cool uh, also as I said the uh, permissions so applications you see Samsung touch whiz is uh, still very different if you ask me to like uh, you know other uh, like uh, skins like the stock skin so you do have to have a look around sometimes but you can see you can see the permissions management here to see what happens when you don't allow the camera so it just basically asks you to use it uh, you also get your shortcuts obviously such as quickly going into the camera so that is nice and I think they've gotten rid of the annoying well not annoying but kind of weird flipboard integration so it doesn't come up when you swipe to the right uh, I did have to also fix the touch screen when I put this uh, ROM on it seemed to uh, like make everything opposite when I touched here it would take effect there uh, so if you have that issue using this ROM do let me know and I'll tell you how to fix that uh, but generally you know it looks like a very nice uh, preview here of the official uh, update and if you want to get it on I will leave a link in the description uh, showing you how to get it on uh, you can see I think the internet app has been uh, updated as well quite a bit so you can put new tabs on and it does look very nice and smooth here actually so you can go into the settings and have some good fun there and uh, yeah you know it looks very nice clean update this does uh, even cleaner than the like lollipop update so you get your weight command still obviously so that's nice I'm guessing you also get your fingerprint scanner and you know security like down here so it's all there and it all seems to be working so uh, yeah you know uh, do we get any new wallpapers doesn't seem to be quite similar but obviously you do get uh, new themes here which is well the themes are uh, kind of integration uh, and I think uh, with this particular ROM you will get like the Terminator theme on there because it is called the Terminator ROM uh, so that is pretty nice but yeah just a quick little video here hope you did enjoy and I'll probably do some tests with the firmware uh, so yeah have an awesome day cheers